Okay. So, French Frank, thank you for your time. Uh, I, uh, thank you for, it's a pleasure, it's an honor to be talking to you. Um, uh, thank you, honestly. My pleasure, my pleasure. I gotta ask right off the bat, what is it about bad guys, you know, big guys, roles, uh, you're laughing because I know you know where I'm, where I'm going with this, that they all seem to find you or are you looking for them actively? No, you know what, brother, I gotta tell you, Rafael, I'm not looking for them, but they find me. <laughs> and, you know, it's gotten to the point where the people who I work with, my agents and stuff, are like, well, maybe you shouldn't keep doing all these. I'm like, but they're so much fun. I have so much fun. But yeah, they seem to find me, uh, my man. And, uh, and some of them like this, playing Duke in this movie really spoke to me and I had a great time doing it. I think with the exception of boss level, I mean, everything else is just like, he's like, he wants to beat people up, even in boss level. <laughs> I want to talk about Duke. I think uh, Duke, uh, what is it about Duke that drew you to the, to the project? And I know the, the, heart, the story has a lot of heart. I mean, it's tough, but it yeah. has a lot of heart. What drew you to the project? It does. The story does have a lot of heart, which, which I was surprised by. And I, I, was, I was happy when I watched the film to see that it resonated. But for me... It was a character, uh, you know, I've said this in a, a couple of other interviews. Uh, do you remember the movie Urban Cowboy? Mm -hmm. With Scott Glenn played the bad guy. He kind of was flashy and he came in and he stole Deborah Winger for a little while. And, and I, when I read it, I was like, oh, he, that's the guy. Like he's in control of his world. He's mm -hmm. the best at what he does. And, and, and yet he's, there's an element of him that is not good. Right. And, and at the end, you, he pays for it. He pays mm -hmm. for it at the end with the ultimate price. Uh, I, yeah, sorry. No, I was just going to say, but, it, but it was, it's fun to play that guy, you know, the, without the consequences. I, I, it, again, it's a, it has a lot of heart. I want to end up, I, I want to end this interview with a question. Uh, what do you expect people to get, take away from the story once they see it? It has a lot of heart. What do you expect the, from them to take away from it? Yeah, I, you know, I expect them, A, to have a good 90 minutes. I think it's a great story. It's, it's, a, great, it's a great movie uh, in a time where we need to be entertained. And then I just like this, the end of it to me, I was, there was hope. There was, there was a little bit of a feel good thing at the end, and uh, I wanted to see it again after I saw it, and 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 not because I'm in it, because I hate to watch myself, but <laughs> because it was a great story. It was the uh, Michaela told a great story, and that's I think that's ultimately what we're looking for at this point. Frank, thank you for your time. Thank you for the opportunity. I'll talk to you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you.